Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Got another Class C motor home we're going to review today. I wanted to do this one last night, but it's just getting too late, so figure I'd start out with this. This is a 2007 Jayco Greyhawk 31SS. Really nice one. In fact, in a lot of ways, I actually like it better than the Leprechaun that I shot last night, even though this one's a couple of years older and it's less money. Um, Jayco's top of the line Class C, 30, 32, 32 and a half feet long, only has 53,000 miles, which very low miles for an 07. And it's got hydraulic leveling jacks. It's like the Leprechaun. You know, that's something you're only seeing about one out of 100 Class C's, and I happen to have two of them on the lot with leveling jacks. Of course, Jayco, especially back then, guys, was one of the top brands to buy in a Class C motorhome. <clears throat> Notice overlapping cab over. That's a sign of a well-built Class C. You do not want the straight edges right here if you don't have to because that's where a lot of them can leak at. This one right here, because it's further back, is better built. I mean, you can buy them with the straight edge if you want to. You just got to keep a closer eye on it, especially if you drive it a lot. Uh, this was 53,000 miles, got a 4KW generator on end with 498 hours on it running right now, powering everything up. Uh, it's got a patio awning. I believe that is a power patio awning. Sorry, I got them kind of packed in here close and the stuff parked behind it, so I really can't get it out. Got one big super slide out. Just a good looking motorhome, guys. Uh, stripes and finish for an 07 look amazing. No delamination. You know, Jayco back then was a really unique company. 80% of their factory workforce were either Amish or Mennonite. So you can imagine the quality, the build quality that goes into each and every Jayco product, especially back then. Jayco Greyhawk. Good shine to it. Got a 5,000 pound tow capacity hitch. I mean, there is no apologies whatsoever for it on the outside. The only thing we got to do to it, guys, the step's not working. So uh, we got a, guys already looked at it. They've ordered a part for it. Should be here in a couple of days. We'll slap it on there. That'll be that problem fixed. But other than that, so we're going to have to get creative getting in this thing because it's a tight squeeze, at least for me. The, uh, Set this down for a second. So I can have both hands freed up. In we go. And I will tell you this, guys. It is very cold this morning. It's like 38 degrees right now. I went ahead and turned the furnace on in this thing. This thing has got a furnace that will roast you out of here. And I don't care what they say, and I may catch some slack for this, guys, but nothing is more efficient to heat your RV up when it's cold out than a propane heat. I'm, I'm telling you, it's just a, it's amazing how quick it warms up your RV. And electric's not bad. It just ta it takes electric a lot longer to do what the propane will. And uh, it feels great in here. 53,000 miles leather front seats it does have the hwh hydraulic leveling jacks uh, another thing i see wrong with it but it's just a cosmetic thing is a little plastic cover that goes on the driver's seat right there that little cosmetic cover is broken but the seats look great besides that got the wood grain dash which i know it probably doesn't look right in the video but in person the camera's got a nice clear picture heated power mirrors CD stereo, it's got the cab over bed. Everything looks solid as a rock up here. Got an 84 inch tall ceiling height throughout the entire RV. This is a full size bed, a little bigger than a full, a little smaller than a queen. So uh, I call it full queen, cab over mattress. Carpet's original, linoleum's original, posters original. That's what I like about this thing. Nobody's messed with it. It's all original. Everything looks great. I'm not covering up nothing with these pillows. Leather sofa looks great. 
I just have them set up for the effect, but there's no, I'm not covering up anything. Believe me, guys, I wouldn't do something petty like that. Heck, there's a spot on the sofa. Y'all know I'd tell you about it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't shy from that. These are all used RVs. None of them are going to be perfect. But my gosh, I'll be honest. I don't think an 07 is going to be much nicer than this. So, um, of course, Amish men and I built cabinetry. Got a table booth, very comfortable floor plan, nice open living area. Table booth makes a bed, couch makes a bed, cab over makes a bed. So you can sleep eight in here. You've got a television right here. Uh, eight cubic foot nor cold refrigerator freezer in very nice condition. Of course, you know, it hasn't got cold yet. I'm just doing a quick video on this one. Of course, right now it wouldn't take much for one of these to get cold. <laughs> Well, we do guarantee the refrigerator to work. There's your little extra cutting tray. I mean, just good solid cabinetry. Countertops look great. Got a three burner stove top. Dometic microwave, oven, drawers and cabinet space. At least good, you know, good amount for a class C. Split bathroom like most of them have no yellowing in the shower so this thing which you can tell that from the outside this thing's obviously been stored inside when it hasn't been used because what happens when one is stored outside the uv rays coming through that skylight will bleach the shower stall yellow and if the shower stall is yellow it doesn't hurt anything it just means you want to check your roof make sure it's been maintained properly of course this one is a tpo roof and go here to the back you've got a queen island bed some overhead storage cabinets our closet space small tv in here and let's look at the water closet that might help and you've got an rv toilet big medicine cabinet actually two of them three of them <laughs> um like i said figure whoever buys this thing will take a lot of pills i guess i don't know uh that's a lot of medicine cabinet does have the that's what i was looking for does have the optional tank heater so it's definitely a four seasons rv as a matter of fact i think these were like rated for r25 r30 if memory serves me right which is pretty high um insulation rating for a class c usually class c's aren't insulated that high fantastic vent fan you can see the border, the wallpaper border that's in here is not peeling around the edges, so it hasn't been stored in hot climate, all buttoned up with no ventilation. You know, that's a sign that one's been in extreme hot weather is when that wallpaper border starts peeling. Um, this is about as nice, guys, as an 07 is going to get, uh, you know, without, without going and inventing a time machine and going back a few years. So definitely... Uh, We'll get that step fixed and it's a nice unit. Generator runs, puts out like it's supposed to, slide outs work. We do guarantee the roof air and the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temp like all of our used RVs. And this thing has got an incredible furnace in it. I know that. In fact, it's almost getting too hot in here. Um, does have the carrier ducted roof air which is uh 15,000 btu and it does have a remote control thermostat that's in it and that also operates your furnace but yeah guys 42.9 let me know what you think about it in the comments below this is a nice nice class c this one won't last long 42.9 will trade that's a haggle free firm price it's plus applicable sales tax we have no extra fees um, besides what the state of Georgia makes us collect. And this applies to Georgia residents only, by the way. Uh, well, of course, we have to collect applicable sales tax on anybody that has to pay it. Not all states have to pay it. You know, and it's complicated, so it's always best to call uh, about your sales tax. But if you are a Georgia resident, we do have to collect Georgia sales tax. If you're out of state, whether you pay us the sales tax or your local DMV office depends on the state you live in and how you're buying the RV. So keep that in mind. Uh, so if you want to know what your tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, it's best just to call one of my salespeople, tell them where you live and how you're paying for it. And they'll give you a, uh, 
and they'll give you an estimate on that it, it's easier to do that than me go break down all 50 states <laughs> and all the different scenarios of when and where you have to pay tax so um and remember folks many states give you sales tax credit for trade-ins um that can save you a bunch of money too where you only pay sales tax on the difference again just depends on your state I wish all state sales tax laws were the same, but they're not. Everyone's a little different in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So always call, ask one of my salespeople. They'll be glad to get you that information. Georgia residents do have to pay a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee. But that's it. I'm not rip-off world. I'm not these other corporate RV dealerships that charge dock fees and prep fees and freight fees and happy camper fees and uh, dock and, and fees and whatever other kind of name they can come up with guys all those fees are 100 percent dealer profit 100 percent unnecessary to purchase a used or brand new rv don't fall victim to that uh, that old scam most of y'all know that by now but there are some people that think that dealers have to charge fees but they don't so i've walked out of car dealers and rv dealers both over fees so don't uh, don't fall victim to that scam that's just a way for them to advertise a lower price but sell it for more uh, by disguising the profit in the form of fees because that's all they are is profit. We do have financing available with approved credit down payment. If you're interested in up-to-date information about that, give us a call again at 706-965-7929. Uh, we don't mark interest rates up. and This is a huge thing for people who are familiar with this scam. Uh, going around right now uh, see right now see the pricing model for RV for RV dealerships has changed you know it used to five six years ago or longer that the dealers cared about the profit on the front end which is a profit from what they have in the unit to what they're selling it for but now they don't care I mean they still care a little bit about front end profit because their salespeople's paid on that but they don't they care a lot more about what they call back-end profit pro, uh, profit and um, that's why you know 10 years ago you had cash money you get a discount now you got cash money most of these dealerships want to charge you more not want to sell it to you at all because they're when you pay cash for one or bring a check from your bank they're not um, they're not making any money on it as far as what are missing out on a lot of profit and what back-end profit is which is what most dealers go by now is the profit they make on financing and how they do it you know you got to realize when you go to an rv dealership or a car dealership uh, or boat motorcycle whatever you're not going th you're going through their lenders that they have a relationship with that they've worked all this out with beforehand you're doing a credit application they get you approved they tell you a rate but guys that rate is not what you got to prove for that rate is how much they're charging you you got approved for a much lower rate but they're not telling you that and since they're dealing with the bank and not you you don't know that so in other words they might be getting you approved at say a six percent rate they're charging you eight all right you figure a two percent markup interest rate adding that to your monthly payment that extra interest is going to add up to thousands of dollars over the of, on a long-term rv loan over the life of the rv loan that you're overpaying and they're keeping about, and the dealership keeps about 75% of that. But it doesn't just stop there. Here comes the upsells, and this is an, and this is part of the back end profit. Back end profit not only is profit made on financing, but also on any after upsell products, extended warranties, gap insurance, uh, interior exterior protection packages, service packages, campground packages all these say even insurance all these things that they offer you is marked up three or four times dealer cost and i'm going to tell you a little inside secret too guys most of those products are selling you and those services are not worth the paper they're written on marked up three or four times dealer cost not even worth it if they were at dealer cost and here's the thing they're adding it to your loan with a marked up interest rate costing you even more because the more amount you finance the more money they're making on interest or back in back end uh, profit because the more you obviously the more interest you're going to pay the more the dealership's going to get nothing a dealer does is for free or for cost and i've seen so many people go in and buy something use this one for an example 
a motorhome advertised for $42,900. Pay about $6,000 in fees on top of that, plus your tax. Then they upsell you another ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of product. Before you know it, that unit price forty two nine, you owe sixty five to seventy grand on. And you're stuck in it. My advice to you, somebody who's been on both sides of that desk as a buyer and a seller, many times, keep your amount finance as low as possible. Pay more money down if you can. Say no to any and all upsells. Watch your interest rate. Check with your own bank or credit union to see what kind of rate and term they can give you on RVs so you have some kind of basis of comparison. Because, guys, keep in mind, you can save yourself a lot of money if you take my advice. Now, you're going to make a lot of dealers mad because they're missing out on thousands and thousands of dollars in profit. And they may tell you just go take a hike. And that, and especially right now with the inventory shortage, that's a pretty common thing to hear a dealer say. If the deal is not making a, a huge amount of profit because their inventory is so low, they're just going to shake their head and say, no, thank you. So that's fine. That's the way I look at it. You know, I don't care what the inventory is. If the deal's not right for me and it's not the right RV, I'm not going to buy it. So, guys, this is why we're so different from everybody else. First of all, I'll tell you this stuff. No other dealer on the Internet is going to tell you this stuff. Second of all, we don't do... We don't do upsells. We don't offer, our financing is done at the buy rate, which is a rate that you've got to prove for from the bank. We offer financing as a courtesy to our customers, not as a way to make money. So in other words, guys, you see something priced for 42.9. I mean, if you're coming from out of state and you're bringing cash, or I, mean, I don't want $100 bills, I mean, I'm not gonna say no to it, but I prefer a cashier's check or wire transfer it's a lot safer to carry it's a lot safer for us to process and less paperwork with the irs involved but uh i say cash i mean cashier's check or bank to bank wire transfer or even uh, a loan from your own bank instead of one of our lenders it doesn't matter to us how you pay for it because we don't make money on financing anyway it all goes right in the bank so in other words if you bring your own money from out of state you bring 42.9 that's your out the door price you know, if you finance it to one of our lenders, some of them will require us to collect sales tax, again, depending on your state. Um, and of course, Georgia residents have to pay sales tax. So, we'll give you a fair out-the-door price that is a lot less than you can buy it for at any other dealership, even if they've got the same RV for the same price, because I don't charge all the extras that they do. I don't try to make you feel like you have to buy an extended warranty or you have to buy a uh, gap insurance or any of that other crap that's not worth the paper it's written on. Um, but guys, you know, we, we want you to be in this unit right. We want you to be able to use this thing for a year, two years, three years, or however how long before your needs change. That's one thing you'll learn, guys. When you own an RV, everybody's needs eventually changes. Kids grow up, they move out. Grandkids want to go uh if you want bigger you want smaller you want a diesel you want a gas you want a a b a c a travel trailer a fifth wheel nobody's style of rving stays the same through their entire life it always changes and sometimes you have to eventually sell or trade your rv in to get one that better suits your current style of rv happens to all of us guys you know look at me for example I owned a 38 foot class a for many many years and i never would have thought i'd been happy with anything else went to 25 foot class b plus I, I could be happier guys it suits my current style of rving better than anything now five years from now i may be in something totally different because my style will change but um that's one thing guys life's about change it's inevitable it happens to everybody including rving so um so that's why i'm saying guys you want to be i want when you buy one from us i want you to be able to say hey I, i've got equity in it from the get-go i want you to say hey i've been paying on this for two years i know i can trade or sell it and have some money left to put in my pocket that's our goal we want you to be able to come back and trade with us again these corporate rv dealerships they stuck you so bad at the first time they don't care if you ever come back because they can't help you but guys you know what we're not like that. I want you to come back here. I want you to send your friends and family to us. 
that's how we stayed in business for 53 years and why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. It's not only our price and our no-nonsense way of doing business, but um, and, 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 and simple, straightforward buying and selling, but it's the fact that we want you to come back. We're family owned and operated for three generations. We want your family to be, to be part of that and, um, and buy from us. I've got generations of families from all over the United States that when they want to buy an RV or upgrade their RV, their current one, they, we're the first place they call. And I'd like you to be like that too, guys. You know, that, that's how you stay in business like we do and, and run a successful business that sells as many RVs as we do by treating people right and selling a good product for a fair price. You know, used RVs aren't for everybody, guys. Um, you know, that. I mean, these are nice RVs, but, you know, it, it's like everything else in life. You will have to work on it from time to time. Um, none of them are perfect. Even brand new, they're imperfect, especially with the pandemic produced ones that are even worse than not being perfect. <laughs> uh, so uh, keep that in mind, guys. We, uh, you know, we, we try to treat you right. We tell it to you like it is. And I think it shows. It really does. You know, when you sell five or 600 used RVs a year, that's a lot of Parkway RVs on the road today and been in business since 1968. Wow. Think how the world's changed since we opened this place up. <laughs> Heck, I wasn't even born then. Here I am, 44 years old, doing these up here now. <laughs> Crazy. Gotta love it, though. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Um, subscribe to my channel, RVs with Big Bow. Like my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bow. You can actually message me there. Now, guys, I'm not in sales, unfortunately, but if you've got a question about RVing in general, comment, whatever, feel free to go to my Facebook page and send me a message. RVs with Big Bow. I'm not around the phone much, so I don't really take phone calls. Um, if you're out here, guys, and you visit us and you're one of my subscribers, Tell one of the guys you want to holler at me. I'd love to meet you, shake your hand, and and, uh, and all that. Talk to you for a second. Thank you for coming out. Um, like I said, they may have to find me because I'm on a lot, a lot of times or running errands. But definitely, if you're one of my subscribers, tell one of the salespeople you'd like to see me. And I'll make sure that uh, you're taken care of. And, and, and thank you for coming down and all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, Thanks again, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.